my beautiful peacocks out there. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is going to be over Lancome's Tresser line. I have a whole collection from that line and I'm so excited to bring you my collection. I have talked about doing this in a previous video and everybody seemed to respond really well to the idea of me doing this collection video. So, Grab you a little snack, grab you a drink, and let's go ahead and get into this collection for Lancome's Tresor. Okay, the very first fragrance that came out, now this is the pillar is what you would call this, and this kind of spawned a bunch of different flankers. Now this is the uh, Tresor Eau de Parfum, and this smells amazing. And all the, the perfumes that I'm going to be talking about today, the longevity of these perfumes are really great performers. They seem to last a long time. So you can wear these for many different events. You can wear them throughout the day into the night. This particular one smells amazing. It's fresh, it's so rich and sweet, but it also has like fruity floral notes in it, but it does have that backing of vanilla. So this is definitely one of those vanilla fragrances that I love so much. It's just so good. Now this fragrance came out in 1990. Of course, this is not a bottle from 1990. This is a newer version. So I don't know if they reformulated it, but I do know it has like the apricot and the peach in it. It has rose and violet. It has sandalwood, musk, vanilla. It has all of those notes in it. And it just is an amazing fragrance. So beautiful, so feminine and it's a clean scent it's a very clean scent now this fragrance is like one of the best selling fragrances by Lancome and that's why they made so many different flankers off of this particular fragrance because when you have a winner they want to just kind of continue feeding from the one that started it all. It's kind of like if you watch this wonderful, great movie and then they start having sequels. Well, that's kind of what a perfume is. It's a sequel. You know, it may be better sometimes or it may be not as good and you think, why did they do this? So, definitely try this one out. This is the original here, the Tresor Eau de Parfum, and it is amazing. Definitely get your hands on this and try this out. Now, this is a little more mature. I wouldn't say this is for your younger crowd. I would definitely say, but you know, I'm all about if you love it, you wear it. I don't care. It's, you know, it's ageless really, but I would have to say that uh, it tends to be a little bit more on the mature side. Okay, the next fragrance is Tresor in Love. Now, and of course, you know, it has this style of a bottle, and it is so beautiful. This is one of my, like, romantic fragrances that I mentioned in, like, my wedding perfumes. It's so gorgeous. It's fresh, of course, but it's sweet, soft, feminine just romance in a bottle. Now this perfume has some really great notes in it. It has bergamot, so it is a little brighter and fresh. And it also has some peach, it also has some rose, and it also has some jasmine. So it's like very floral, a little bit of fruitiness, but very softly done. It's just a really good fragrance. You definitely need to try this out. This is Tresser in Love. Okay, the next perfume, and this is a very, like, what would I say, seductive and very sexy perfume. And this is um, also in this type of bottle. It is Tresor Midnight Rose. This has got raspberry in it. It has rose, raspberry and rose. It's very sweet but tart, so it's very playful. It also has jasmine. It has pink pepper in it. So it does, it get, it's almost like, it's not spicy, but it has a kick to it. It's very tart, but sweet, because it has vanilla in it too. It's just very 
it's mesmerizing is what I want to say. Like you will be in a room and people will just say, what are you wearing? It's very captivating. It is a head turner. I definitely love this. This is one of my favorite perfumes from this line. And this is Tresser Midnight Rose. And I believe this actually came out in 2011. I'm just saying it, it's, it's just gorgeous. I love this perfume. Okay, so here is another one. This is Tresser Luminous, or you could say Luminous, or however you want to pronounce it. I love this fragrance. Now, the bottle looks so similar to the original Eau de Parfum. It even has the same just like solid black, but the juice in it is a little more like pink color. This fragrance is very, very feminine and very sweet. In comparison to the regular Eau de Parfum, that one's more fresh, clean, although this one is a fresh scent, but it's fresh, clean. It's more of a worker perfume, I would say. Like, you know, that could be like somebody's signature scent. This could be too, but this one is a little more romantic. This one is a little more softer and playful and more sweeter. So I would say between the original Eau de Parfum and the Luminous, I think this would be, I would be more partial to this one because it's a little more sweeter and creamy. It just smells amazing. And the reason it's so sweet, it has like praline in it, it has vanilla, it has sandalwood, musk. So it's very creamy and rich and very, very sweet. But it's not coyly sweet. It's not like one of those sappy, sweet fragrances. This one is a lot fresher. So I really think that you would, if you do like sweeter scents, you would really love this perfume because it's also got some other things going for it besides just the sweetness. It has some rose in it. I believe it even has some violet in it. And also, you know, there are some more earthier, like, feeling to it so it's rich and earthy it just smells amazing you definitely need to try this one out so in 2015 they just kind of broke the mold this fragrance is to die for i love this fragrance this is none other than tresor la nuit now this fragrance is sex in a bottle it's smoky, it's sweet, so freaking sexy. Now this is like what I call voodoo in a bottle because it is, it puts a spell on you, definitely. Giving some props to Hocus Pocus. I talk about that sometimes in my comments about certain perfumes that, you know, kind of puts a hex on somebody. It's a head turner fragrance, compliment getter. You can wear this a date night to the movies. I wore this to the movies and the little little cashier girl behind the concession stand. Now mind you, when you go into the movies, all you smell is like buttered popcorn, right? She was like, you smell amazing and I need to know exactly what you're wearing. I, I want to put this in my phone right now. I want to see what this is. And so I told her, I said, honey, I said, get ready for some compliments because when you wear La Nuit by Lancome. If you wear this, you are going to definitely get compliments. This is definitely also a perfume that you don't want to overspray too much. A little goes a long way. This perfume, oh my goodness. Let me tell you a little bit about the notes in this sucker. So this fragrance has like incense in it. It has praline in it. It has patchouli and it has vanilla orchid. This fragrance also has black rose in it. It also has Tahitian vanilla orchid absolute. Now all these notes together combined, it just gives you this sexy, smoky, smoldering. Smoldering, that is it. So this fragrance is definitely dark, mysterious, deep, sexy, smoldering. Just sex in a bottle, that's what this is. So if you definitely want a head turner, then this would be the fragrance for you. The newest release, which came out this year, 
I'm so glad I got my hands on it. This is La Nuit Tresor a la Folie. And the bottle is pretty similar to the La Nuit bottle. Oh my goodness. This one is so good. Now, if you like more of a fruity, sweet scent, which is also, it's kind of dark too. It's, it, it's kind of playful though. It's a little more, I would say, brighter. It's not so dark and smoky and you know, smoldering and all those kinds of, you know, adjectives. This one is a lot more playful, zesty, but sweet. It has red currant in it and pear, and it has bergamot in it, some pink pepper, and you can definitely smell the vanilla in it. It also has, it's, it's more floral too than the La Nuit. Like this has the damask rose in it, but it has peony in it. Bourbon vanilla, I believe, are some of the notes in here. So you do get that sweetness, but then you also get a little bit of fruitiness and floral to it. In a way, it's very flirty and fun, but more vibrant than La Nuit. This smells so it's really good. It's very, very sweet, fruity, and floral, just all rolled into one. This is La Nuit Tresor a la Folie. So how do all of these perfumes compare? I would say the original perfume, awesome. I love it. You know, it's good for every day. It's definitely something that I think you could add to your collection. Really love this one. This one is definitely a little more mature though. Keep that in mind. If you're looking for a sweeter, more creamier um, scent, then I would definitely try the Luminous. The Luminous is such an amazing fragrance and I think those like fruity and floral notes kind of just dance together. It is a little flirty and also sweet and then you have you know that richness and creaminess of this fragrance. So I think Luminous is a beautiful fragrance and I think this is something you could wear all year round too. Now a lot of people might say you want to wear this more in the fall or winter but I think it would be good for all year round. If you want something for a special occasion like a wedding or you're going to a shower or you know just something where you want to smell fresh but beautiful and very feminine and soft then I would go with Tresor in Love. Definitely this would be the one to wear for those particular instances but I know so many people they love this they wear it all year round they they just adore this fragrance and I think it's more of a lighter cleaner fresher scent but but it's also very romantic and soft and feminine. Now, if you want something that is more like a head turner and you want something that's sweet but also tart and something that has like that raspberry note in it that I love so much, I would do Tresor Midnight Rose. The rose and the raspberry in this one is like the most amazing combination I have ever smelled in a perfume. This one is just very, and it's also sexy, very flirty and sexy. So I definitely think if you want a head turner, if it's you want something a little more tart, then I would definitely go with Tresser Midnight Rose. Okay, we're down now to the two here. I would say if you want to go with sexy smoldering, you know, just something that's going to, you know, turn heads and just be very seductive, then I would go with the La Nuit. Now, if you want something just kind of flirty and fun, but also sweet, then I would go with the A La Folie. So my favorites from the collection, I would have to say, are Tresor Midnight Rose and Tresor La Nuit. These are my absolute favorites from the collection, and I just love these perfumes. Okay, so that wraps up my collection over these Tresor perfumes, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, definitely leave me a thumbs up, and also, if you're not a part of the Peacock family, then what are you waiting for? 
hit that subscribe button today and also hit that notification bell so every time I upload a new video you'll be notified. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any of these fragrances, if you love them as much as I do, and also if there are any fragrances here today that you thought, okay, now I've got to get this fragrance. So I want to hear all about it in the comment section below. I love talking with y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.